Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode we're going to be solving a physics 7c practice problem on the topic of magnetic fields and forces. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like, it really helps our channel. So this is the problem that we're going to be working on today. So Colomb assembles a set of four infinitely long straight current carrying wires into a square with a side length of 40 centimeters as shown in the picture below. Each of the wires carries a current of 0.2 amps in the direction shown. So the first thing that we have to do is what is the magnetic field at the center of the square? Please specify both magnitude and direction. And then for part B, uh, we have an electron is placed in the center of the square with a certain velocity directed into the plane of the page. What is the magnitude? What is the magnetic force on the electron due to the four carrying wires? Please specify both magnitude and direction. So as you can see, I have this sketch over here. And the first thing that we have to do is basically ignore the electron and just figure out, uh, due to each of these wires, what is the magnitude and the direction of the magnetic field at this point. So all of the wires are carrying the same, um, the same current, 0 0.2 amps. So let's just go ahead and, you know, let's say that this is wire one, two, three, and four. It doesn't matter, but let's just name them so that it's easier. And all of them carry 0 0.2 amps. Now, the total magnetic field at this point is gonna be, because these are vectors, they add up. So this will be B1 plus B2 plus wire three, plus wire four, like this. So this is how we would do it. Now, the first thing that we have to figure out is the directions. And so let's just go ahead and see. So wire number one is the one that I'm naming as this one. It doesn't matter, you know, which one is which so long as you just figure it out and then you just stick to it. If you use your right hand rule, this magnetic field, if you use, if you put your hand like this and then you just twirl it, then you're gonna see that the direction is out of the page. Then for B2, twirl again, but now twirl using this wire and this will be out of page. For the third one, twirl again and you're gonna get out of page for the fourth for the fourth one twirl again and then you're gonna get out of page again you're just looking at the magnetic field at this point so all of this are gonna be on the same direction which means that we just have to add them up and that's it all of them have the exact same distance same distance and that distance is half of the square, so 0 0.2 meters. So basically, we can just add everything up. So it will just be four times because we have four wires. M not I, two pi R. Again, this is just because we have four wires, so I'm just putting everything together instead of doing one plus two plus three plus four. And then this is just me applying the definition. So now I just have to substitute this. So let's just go ahead and do that. So this is gonna be four and then mu naught is four by times 10, seven. Seven or negative seven? Did I just write that wrong? Uh, what do we have on the quiz? Yes, so this is negative seven. If you want the PDF for the quiz, by the way, um, they are in the description of this video. Then I is equal to 0 0.2. And then this is two pi, and then R is also equal to 0 0.2. So this will cancel out with each other. And then uh, these pies cancel with each other. So basically, eight 
Yeah, I don't really need a calculator because this is just gonna be 16 divided by two. So this is eight times 10 to the negative seven final answer. So my final answer is B total is equal to eight times 10 to the negative seven. Then I need my units. And then I need my direction, which is out of page. Final answer, part A. So now for part B, what they are saying is, okay, so now you are actually putting an electron over here. So we have an electron, negative charge, and it's feeling this magnetic field a magnetic field that is going out of the page and the electron is moving in which direction? The electron is moving into the plane, so cross. So what is F? Well, in this case, F is pretty easy because we don't have to do anything. F, if we remember the definition, is Q, V, V, sine of our angle. In this case, these two vectors are parallel. This means that our angle is 180 degrees, either 0 or 180, whatever you want to think about. And then sine of 180 degrees is equal to 0. So because of this, if this is equal to zero, then the entire thing is equal to zero. So there is no magnetic force. This thing, uh, this electron, I'm sorry, is not feeling any magnetic force because its uh, velocity and the direction of the magnetic field are completely anti-parallel. Um, so that basically just makes everything cancel out. So this is the end of this problem. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.